Coming up next on Adventurer, it's August, it's coaster season. I'm about to ride the biggest, tallest roller coaster in the world, the King to Ka, at Great Adventures in New Jersey. Stick around, you don't want to miss this one. Clash, James Clash. I've been a fan of roller coasters since I was a kid. A few years back, I ventured to Cedar Point, Ohio to ride the world's then tallest, fastest, top thrill dragster and report my experience for the Forbes.com video network. But now that coaster title has moved on to Six Flags Great Adventures, King to Ka in Jackson, New Jersey. Naturally, we had to visit for a thrill ride. Since the late 19th century, the roller coaster has evolved from the primitive mock chunk railway in Pennsylvania to the intense rocket coasters of today. The machines now compete for speed, height, number of inversions, you name it. Over the last decade, records have fluctuated between Japan and the U.S. From 1996 to 2000, Fujiyama at 259 feet was tops. Then from 2000 to 2003, Nagashima's 318-foot-high Steel Dragon at 95 miles an hour was king. But in 2003, the U.S. snatched top honors with Cedar Point, Ohio's Top Thrill Dragster at 420 feet and 120 miles an hour. That is, until Six Flags Great Adventures opened King to Ka in 2005. Angel Aristone, public relations manager for the Jackson, New Jersey theme park, has ridden the monster dozens of times. I've been on King to Ka 50 times at least. The most intimidating portion of this ride is definitely the launch. Uh, the ride launches you 0 to 128 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds. It's extremely intimidating. Uh, and actually, another good part is that on the, if you're on the top of the coaster, on a clear day, you can see both Philadelphia and New York City. If you have enough time to look around, if you're brave enough to open your eyes, you will get to see Philadelphia and New York. Um, although, the time that I saw it, I actually had taken an elevator to the top of the coaster and I was standing on the platform. Usually, when I'm going over that crest, my eyes are shut. In 2004, I had ridden Top Thrill Dragster when it held the world record. That was something, but King Ka truly is a behemoth. At 456 feet, a slow creep over the crest, and a frightening plummet straight down with a two-thirds twist thrown in. The ride lasts only 50 seconds, but attracts thrill seekers worldwide. While waiting in line, we asked a Maryland rider why he was there. When I walked in and I saw it, I was like, I don't know if I'm riding that one. I don't want to throw up on nobody. When it finally was my turn, I opted for the front. It is the smoothest of the nine cars and also has the best view. She's my cousin from Italy, so we brought them here and I told her she's a do and they oh. Fantastico. Fantastic. Bellissimo. Anything like that in Italy? Never. C'è qualcosa così in Italia? No. I couldn't agree more. The intensity compares to some of the more risky things I've done, including driving Indy cars at 200 miles an hour. One big difference here, though, in the coaster, you just ride on a rail and are completely safe. You can enjoy the insanity with no fear. Germany reportedly is building a coaster at the famous Newburgh ring called F1, which will reach 135 miles an hour, taking top speed honors next year. Uh, we've had hold the record since 2005 um, as the, the tallest and fastest. Even if we do get beat for speed, we're still the tallest. So. That said, if I'm in Germany next year, you can bet I'll make an effort to try it. When I rode the Top Thrill Dragster three years ago in Ohio, it was the highest roller coaster in the world and the fastest, hence the shirt. But now, having ridden the King to Ka, I can wear this shirt and feel comfortable about it. I'm Forbes adventurer Jim Clash. To read my column, pick up Forbes magazine or click on Forbes.com slash to the limits. And thanks for watching the Forbes.com video network. Clash, James Clash.